Hey guys, I'm Sudhava. As we studied previously, there are two methods that can be used to find out the value of integration. Those are trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule. In trapezoidal rule, we saw that the function was approximated using first order polynomial. And in Simpson's rule, Simpson's one third rule, the function was approximated using second order polynomial. In Simpson's In Simpson's 3 8 rule, the function will be approximated using cubic polynomial, that is third order polynomial. We saw in trapezoidal rule that two points were used for approximation. For Simpson's one third rule, three points were used for approximation. For Simpson's 3 8 rule, four points will be used for approximation. This is point A. This is point B. This will be A plus H. And this will be A plus 2A. Make sure that these are equal segments. Now in Simpson's one third rule, what we did was we drew a parabola or second order function and we then obtained for three points we got three unknown coefficients to find out the values of these three unknown coefficients we found out the value at value of function at these three points and using this we got the value of a0 a1 and A2. And then we substituted the value of limits and value of these three coefficients in the equation and we got the final formula for 1 by third rule. Same steps will be applied for Simpson's one third rule and the formula that will be obtained is integration A to B any function f of x dx is equal to 3 by A h f of a plus 3 f of a plus h plus f of 2 plus h plus f of b. 3 will be multiplied to f of a plus h and f of a plus 2h. Similarly for multiple segments The formula that will be obtained using the reference of this equation will be integration a to b f of x dx is equal to 3 by a h f of a plus f of b we will write it later. 3 a plus h plus f of a plus 2h plus f of a plus 4h and so on plus 2 f of a plus 3h plus f of a plus 6h plus f of a plus 9h and so on plus f of b. Now if you observe the formula it can be concluded, concluded that the last term uh, first and last terms are not multiplied by any constant 3 is multiplied to the non multiples of 3 and 2 is multiplied to the multiples of 3. So we can Write it as f of a plus f of b plus summation i is equal to 1 to n minus 1, where i, I is equal to multiple of 3. f 
above a plus i h plus two is multiplied to non multiples of three, or it should not be mul multiple of three. Sorry, two is multiplied to multiples of three, and three is multiplied to non multiples of three. F of a plus r h. And this rule is called as Simpson's three eight rule because the constant that we obtain from the derivation is three by a. So this is all about Simpson's three eight rule. If ever examples are asked about this rule, simply keep keep in mind this formula and substitute the values. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you understood the concept. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. For more details, get ready for these videos. Guys, help us to help you. So please like my video, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.